And welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure. Let's try this again. But this time I'm actually gonna pay attention and remember to equip Cure Magic. This is in the right menu. That was embarrassing. Hey, Pillow Magic, I don't care, I can sell that. Anyways, say hello to Mr. Lee again. Hello, Mr. Oh, Mr. Lee. But anyways, he's not that tough of a boss battle, really. As long as you stay on your toes and remember to keep yourself fully healed at all times. Just gotta dodge and weave from his bats. Unfortunately, we can't block them with our uh, shield this time. So he's not as... Oh, crap, no! Stop it! Just keep hitting him with your whip and hope and remember to dodge all of his attacks. That's basically the only strategy for this game, for this one. He moves in this weird diamond, uh, this kind of diamond pattern. So you can pretty much predict where he will be eventually because he only moves between four positions. That being said, his bats can shoot out in any direction, so those are kind of annoying. The easiest thing I found is to hit him while he's moving. Because while he's standing still, he's shooting bats at you, and bats hurt. Like that. I just realized, are those the same bats from the original Legend of Zelda? Doesn't matter, he's dead. We just killed a vampire. And we learned sleep, aka stupid, annoying, useless spell. Aw, we're together again. And now let's actually get back to our main plot. After taking another nap. I'm surprised I didn't get, gain a level from that. Huh. Anyways, nap time. Nap time is over. Apparently Anne was just standing there the entire time. Good for her. Also, yeah, if you notice our willpower bar is starting to increase to a point where we can actually start using it in battle. And I just go through enemies in one hit. I am stronger now. Yeah, I really like whip weapons in this game. Uh, still can't beat the mud men without fire magic. Move! Keep going forward. Mush! Here we go. Uh, here are the lizard men. They're still here. And now they're all dead. Well, the one more is left. I shall leave him alone and let him tell my tale of the time I killed his people. Actually, you know what? Screw it. I need the experience. Also, they uh, spawn infinite bronze keys in case you throw it away. Which is what I'm gonna do because they're taking up inventory space. And this pillow spell goes away too. Yeah, sleep is annoying in this game. Mostly because it uses MP and is completely useless. Oh, I need to bring my sickle out. That's not my sickle. That's my sickle. There we go. And onward! We're off to Wendell. That's a funny name for a town. Uh, yeah, we need our chain to get across here. This is why you couldn't just, I don't know, go straight here without going back to rescue Anne. You kind of need the chain. And Anne to progress with the plot. And she's kind of trapped on the other side of the river. But she can teleport, so she's fine. <gasps> oh, hey, new enemies. These look like Moblins from Zelda. And they die. Come on, die. There we go. They're not too tough. As long as you're facing them with a good shield, you'll be fine. These bees, on the other hand, are actually pretty tough. Mostly because they can do a lot of damage! And it's technically poison damage, too. So it does it over time. Ow! But yeah, I need better armor. Because my shield isn't blocking these guys' attacks. And I'm taking way too much damage. Stop moving. Hey, he, I found gold. I can sell that for money. Welcome to Window. It's inside a giant castle. Time to go to sleep. I need a nap. Da da da. Oh right, I forgot about the little jingle. Anyways, first things first. Where's... Oh, hey, Mr. Red Mage! Hello! Oh, we can't hurt him. 
Let's see, that's not what I want. Where's the weapon shop? I see. Trees make water in this world, apparently. That's nice, I don't know who that is. But more importantly, there's a weapon shop here. I need armor. I need iron armor. Uh, I already have iron shield and iron uh, helmet. Now we are completely covered in iron. That really boosts our defense points. And let's just sell, uh, ooh, that gold is worth a lot. Goodbye, Mr. Gold. I won't be needing you ever. Let's go talk to some random people. Well, maybe he did class change into Sage. It is the best class in, uh, Dragon Warrior 3. Good to know if I ever need to go there. Uh, I should buy some keys while I'm here. Because there is nothing more annoying than going into the middle of a dungeon and then realizing you don't have enough keys. And Matox. I cannot wait till I can stop buying Matox. You're still gonna need keys at the end of the game, but you won't need Matox anymore. Let's see, is there anything else I want to look at? Unfortunately, the towns in this game aren't exactly the biggest. Hello, old man. Good to know. I'm whipping an old man in his house. That's kind of morbid, actually. I'm gonna leave now. Well, this is a 90s and er, Final Fantasy game, technically. First things first, gotta go into the biggest house in the middle of the town and talk to the person inside. Oh, hey, it's Santa! Do they have long-distance communications in here? And then she... D <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, um... The hero doesn't have a walking animation, so... Every time they wa he needs to walk, he just moves in really short, jerky movements. Obi-Wan, you're my only hope. Okay... Ill. And now they can't figure out how to get up a waterfall to get to the sh uh, tree. You know, if they found a cliff climber, I'm pretty sure they can get up there pretty easily. All one of them. And she died. Again. Oh, hi, Mr. Red Mage. This isn't gonna turn out badly at all. I like how they just let some random guy take the, uh, chosen hero, basically. Ill. Oh, crap, monsters. Really, really, really weak monsters. You know, if you're gonna lay siege to a town, maybe you should use some better monsters. I mean, uh, no offense, Mr. Evil Man, but these guys are really, really easy. Anyways, let's go after them. Ah, crap. Actually, he wasn't that helpful. Well, crap. Glaives have her in our hand. Grammar, fun! And our hero's dead. Well, that was quick. Well, and got kidnapped. It's been what? Um... Seven minutes. Hey, airships! Those are from Final Fantasy. 
And we learned heal. That's relatively useful for status ailments. But cure is still more important because cure is the best spell in the game still. Anyways, we gotta go after Anne and Julius. Um, so I think that's a good place to end this to, nah, to end this episode. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Adventure, we head to the west. Wow, our willpower bar is actually filling up relatively fast. So, till next time.